In this video, I will review this week's SmackDown within few minutes, so keep watching till the last to find out what went through on this SmackDown. Bianca Belair defeated Tiffany Stratton in a Queen of the Ring quarterfinal match. The EST took on the center of the universe in a magnificent showdown for the chance to move on in the Queen of the Ring tournament. Bianca Belair seemed to have tweaked her knee in the early going but found the resolve to fight through the pain. Stratton locked onto Belair's injured knee, using the EST sprays to take Belair down before sending her crashing knee first into the ring steps. Belair tried for the KOD, but Stratton was able to evade it as Belair's knees gave out. Stratton used her wits to her advantage, distracting the referee long enough to rake Belair's eyes, but Belair bounced back. Lifting Stratton from the top rope, Belair struck with the KOD, earning her place in the Queen of the Ring semi-finals. Tama Tonga defeated LA Knight in a King of the Ring quarterfinal match. The son of past King of the Ring winner Haku, Tama Tonga, looked to continue his unbeaten streak on SmackDown but had a huge roadblock in the form of the megastar, LA Knight. Knight, unfortunately, needed to have two extra set of eyes as Solo Sokoa and Tonga Loa, who were ringside, kept dividing the megastar's attention. As Knight looked to end things with the BFT, Loa saved Tonga from the devastating move. With Knight's attention diverted, Tonga struck with a reverse STO to win the match. Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul signed the contract for their champion vs. champion match at King and Queen of the Ring. Nia Jax defeated Jade Cargill via disqualification in a Queen of the Ring quarterfinal match. With Jade Cargill's daughter seated at ringside, Nia Jax beat up on Cargill before Jax told Cargill's daughter, Your mom sucks. As the animosity reached a fever point, the two brawled to the timekeeper's area where Jax tried to use a steel chair on Cargill. Cargill, however, stopped Jax in her tracks, taking the steel chair and then using it herself, smacking Jax with the hard steel. Unfortunately for Cargill, however, this was in full view of the referee, who had no choice but to disqualify Cargill, leaving Jax the winner to move on face Bianca Belair next week. DIY defeated Legato del Fantasma with the reigning WWE Tag Team Champions, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory, providing guest commentary. Hashtag DIY took on Legato del Fantasma in a clash to potentially face the champions down the line. Angel and Berto proved a tough nut to crack, hitting the Garza special that nearly put Tommaso Ciampa away for good. Electra Lopez, who was ringside for Legato del Fantasma got pulled into a trap by Hashtag DIY, causing her and Santos Escobar to be ejected from ringside. This commotion allowed Johnny Gargano and Ciampa to connect with meeting in the middle scoring the big tag team victory, and in the main event of the show Randy Orton defeated Carmelo Hayes in a King of the Ring tournament quarterfinal match. The Viper has officially met him. Or rather, Carmelo Hayes met the three most destructive letters in all of WWE, RKO. Orton tried to use his honorary tag team partner in the announce table, but Hayes was able to avoid the slam only momentarily before the Viper dropped Hayes onto the unforgiving wood, not once but thrice. Orton's knee became a problem for the Viper, however, an injury that Hayes quickly tried to take advantage of with a punt kick attempt that failed to hit the mark. As Hayes looked to leap through the air, Orton caught him with the RKO, enabling the Viper to move on to the King of the Rings semifinals for a date with Tama Tonga.